Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing Ultimate Carnage by Diamond Select, released in 2004. Right here we have him spinning 360 degrees to get a good look at him. I will tell you this, figure has the hardest time standing up. I have to have him on a figure stand all the time because he always falls over. What we're going to do now is we're going to look at all the accessories he comes with and take a closer look. Alright, this is it. It only comes with one accessory. It looks like it's Gwen Stacy. It's just completely molded plastic. There's no articulation. The sculpture of the face looks like she's been dead for a while. The pose actually helps with putting Carnage's feet underneath her, so it actually helps him stand a little bit better. The colorways are not too bad. Just silver with a whole bunch of effects in it. The paint application is actually not too bad, but it can be done a lot better. I wouldn't say that the other figure itself, the Carnage, his paint application is a lot better than this one. But overall, I think the figure looks great with both the Gwen Stacy and Carnage himself. So what we're going to do now is we're going to bring out Carnage and take a closer look. Alright folks, there he is. Ultimate Carnage from Diamond Select. This figure, his paint application is it's alright, it's not the best. But for what it is, 2004, not too bad of a figure. Like I said, the only gripe I really have of him is his feet. He has the worst time standing up. Let's take a closer look at him. Again, like the Carnage from Toy Biz in 94, you can see he has the black and red symbiote looking. Stuff coming out, the tendrils are coming out here and on his back as well. These tendrils are actually really soft plastic, almost rubberish. They move really, really well. The front, I don't know what they did with this white here. I don't know what they were going for. Overall, I think the figure looks great. The paint application could have been done a little bit better. What we're going to do now, if I can stand them up. There we go, is we're going to take a closer look at his articulation. Okay, folks, so as far as articulation go, his head is completely still. I don't know what they were going for here. His head is also rubberish, as you can see. It moves, but it doesn't actually have a pivot point. His neck does not turn at all. As far as his arms go, they go... All the way around they actually go upward just a bit and downward just a bit as you can see his elbow 90 degree elbow his wrist go 360 degrees and it can be moved in any position as well as far as his waist he does turn 360 degrees his legs turn just a little bit. They barely go up either too. They go up just about there. They do go up sideways. All the way up. And as far as his knees, he has a 90 degree. No, I wouldn't even say 90. It goes, goes up to about there. And as far as his ankles, he does have a pivot in his ankles. These claws here do not actually move. They're stationary. As far as the figure being a 2004 figure, I know I know they could have done a lot better with him. But as far as the figure itself, not too bad of a figure. I, I actually like the figure with my collection. There we go. 
Get him to stand up. All right, folks, this is it. Ultimate Car Carnage by Diamond Select Toys. There with Gwen Stacy. Like I said, she really helps hold him up. If it wasn't for her, he has the hardest time standing up. I still have him on the figure stand that I use. I use this figure stand in particular to hold him up. If you like this video, please like, comment, and share. If you have any questions, please comment below. And I will be putting out new content hopefully every week as I get more toys coming in.